back home. Harry and Meghan return to Kensington Palace wearing sunglasses as they begin married life together. Newlyweds Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have this afternoon arrived back at Kensington Palace two days after they tied the knot. The pair were spotted in a car wearing matching sunglasses driving into the royal residence in West London as they begin their married life together. The new husband and wife looked relaxed with Meghan flashing a smile as they headed back to their home in Nottingham Cottage. The couple were last seen driving to the reception on Saturday in the grounds of Windsor Castle in a Jaguar retype, complete with a number plate bearing the date E190518. Earlier today the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who wed during the moving multicultural ceremony, said that they feel so lucky to have shared their big day with 120,000 people in Windsor and the millions watching around the world. The pair had decided to put their honeymoon on hold to hit the ground running with royal duties. After the couple sealed their union with a kiss, and a procession through Windsor in a carriage, and a moving ceremony and reception, they will spend the coming days back at work. Tomorrow the couple will join Prince Charles and Camilla on the lawns of Buckingham Palace for a Prince of Wales 70th birthday patronage celebration. The couple will not immediately leave for their honeymoon but will remain in the UK for a period before taking the traditional break. The couple may also first spend a few days in Ireland, according to reports, making their inaugural overseas trip as a married couple to the Republic, while their honeymoon is put on hold for a period. A visit to Australia is also in the diary for October, for the 2018 Invictus Games, while other trips abroad this year are said to be in the pipeline. The couple are expected to then continue their tour down under to include visits to New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga, with plans being discussed at the highest level. But despite their hectic schedules, the couple seized the opportunity to spend some time away from the public eye on Sunday. After two receptions hosted by the Queen and Prince of Wales on Saturday, with some guests said to have continued partying well after Frogmore House closed its doors, the royal newlyweds left Windsor Castle on Sunday afternoon for some well earned privacy. Earlier today the couple released three extraordinary official photographs showing the happy couple madly in love in the most bold and intimate royal wedding portraits ever seen. The most striking image shows Meghan sitting between Harry's legs on the east terrace of Windsor Castle as the prince looks smiling at the camera while his new bride laughs at someone to their left. Even the formal family wedding shot featuring the queen has an informal feel and the bride's mother Doria Ragland, 62, stands proudly next to her daughter looking firmly part of the royal family firm. The final image shows Prince George and Princess Charlotte grinning cheekily with the other bridesmaids and page boys with Harry and Meghan both wearing wide and clearly joyful smiles. Meghan and Harry's choice of official images can be seen as yet another stage of their royal revolution because they contrast with royal portraits of the past. The couple were captured by Alexei Lubomirsky, 42, the protégé of photographer Mario Testino who was famously beloved by his mother Princess Diana. A Kensington Palace spokesman said, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex would like to thank everyone who took part in the celebrations of their wedding on Saturday. They feel so lucky to have been able to share their day with all those gathered in Windsor and also all those who watched the wedding on television across the UK, Commonwealth, and around the world. They would also like to say thank you for all of the generous messages of support they have received.